Hi, Frank Thomas here from Adaptive Corporation. Today we're going to provide a quick overview for you on Discus Software. Discus Software is a utility that's used for uh, creating first article inspection assets. There are two of them. Uh, if you're an aerospace company, you're creating an AS9102. That's supported by Discus Software. If you're a automotive or a mobility company, a truck company, or most industrial manufacturers, you probably work with PPAPs. Uh, that's also an asset that can be created by, uh, by Discus. The output of Discus, we're basically taking in a PDF drawing that is created from any kind of a CAD utility, and we're ballooning that. As we're creating the balloons, it's creating entries that go into the AS9102 or the PPAP. So it's helping automate that process. If today you already have a PPAP, for example, that's a custom PPAP, probably in Excel, uh, we can certainly use that format in our software because, again, the output of Discus is an Excel format. So if you have a custom template, we can absolutely use that. We don't charge anything for uh, including that as part of the deliverable in the software. So I'll just run through some general capabilities on the software, which I won't be showing today in the case that you're an aerospace uh, company watching this. Um, one of the abilities of Discus is to be able to synchronize first article inspection data into NetInspect. So NetInspect, depending on the project that you're working on in aerospace, is a, a system of record for first article inspection assets. Uh, Discus has a link directly to Net, uh, NetInspect to be able to upload both the balloon drawing as well as the AS9102. When we create the AS9102, by the way, for aerospace, we're creating all forms. So forms 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so let's run through just a, some simple capability. You'll notice that the user interface on the software is re really very much like a Windows Microsoft-ish kind of thing, which helps users learn the software quickly. Most of our users are able to get fairly comfortable in navigating and using the software within about a week. Uh, we provide training as part of the software. We don't charge for training, or at least the initial training. Plus, we have web videos and whatnot for refreshers and updates and the like as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll balloon. Uh, we'll start with some notes to begin with. So if I zoom in on an area, then I select balloon mode. Uh, we employ OCR, which is optical character recognition. So as I window an area of text, for example, it employs OCR and adds a, a balloon ID. In this case, it's balloon number one, since it's the first one that we created. And then it's got a, an identifier associated with it down here. And it recognizes that text as a note. So it entered it as a note. Uh, we'll continue the process. We'll window this text. And that'll come in as identifier number two. And then uh, any of these balloons can be moved as, as you need. Uh, and then we'll window text area number three, line three, and you can see now we've got three separate notes. Again, the, uh, uh, the balloons can be moved to a different location so that they're not overlapping. The balloons can be changed to any size, any font, any color if you like. So whatever standards you have today that you're comfortable with or are dictated by your customer, we can absolutely employ in here. Uh, we can employ, for example, leader lines from balloons uh, to a line number just by picking the balloon and then placing a, uh, a leader line. We'll zoom up by using the, uh, the mouse and we'll zoom in on this area. There is an auto ballooning capability on Discus software, so it's good if I've got an area of balloons that I want to just quickly balloon. So we're going to say go ahead and employ auto ballooning on an area. We're going to window some dimensions in that area. Here we've got three linear dimensions in the area. Uh, it picked up uh, linear dimension four and five, no problem. Uh, the OCR and linear dimension six, it didn't pick up. So we can just say that that's a linear dimension and we can say that the nominal is 0.75 and uh, it is uh, plus O2 minus uh, O2. And then we hit OK and it's updated that line in our uh, AS9102 or PPAP. Um, it, we support full GD&T, so all of the symbology that is part of GD&T is built into our software into the optical character recognition. So again, if I window an area, and uh, uh, it'll automatically identify this as 
uh, balloon number seven. Uh, down here you can see that it shows as profile of a surface and it shows all the reference datums in the right order, reference datum A, B, and C down here, and uh, captures uh, the full GDNT. So the bottom line is I can use this utility to go through and balloon the drawing very quickly. Once I've created the, um, uh, the drawing, uh, I can uh, save the balloon drawing as a PDF, so the output of the balloon drawing with the balloons that we've created goes out as a PDF with the balloons. And then I can also uh, output the Excel version of the uh, template to a um, uh, uh, standard format. So in here, the software ships with AS9102 for aerospace, and it also ships with PPAP for... Um, uh, for automotive and mobility companies as well. So that provides just a kind of a general overview of the utility. Again, the, uti the idea is to help expedite the process of creating the balloon drawing and the AS9102 or PPAP without manually having to redo the, uh, the data and uh, potentially making mistakes. I uh, hope that helps. Please contact Adaptive Corporation if you would like a more detailed demonstration or for further information. Thanks for joining us today.